I'm Jerry Bruckheimer, and I'm the producer of Secret Headquarters. We found these two young directors, Henry and Ralph, who are just exceptional. They're t perfect for this. They had the right pitch. They knew what they wanted to do. They wanted to open the movie up more. Chris was the original writer of, of the script, and which was terrific and had a great concept, really well written. But Henry and Ralph had their own kind of feel, what they wanted to do with it by opening it up a little bit more. So we brought in some other writers. Secret Headquarters is about a young boy whose parents are separated, divorced. And he's a baseball fanatic. He's 13 or 14 years old. And he doesn't have a great relation with his father. His father's always busy. His father's never around. So he's kind of strained with that relationship. So one day, his mother drops him off at his dad's house, and his dad, after they play some games, decides that he has to go back to work. He gets a phone call and says, I have to leave. Call your mother and have your mother pick you up. Instead, he calls his friend, tells his friend to come over, and they're going to have a rager. So his friend brings three other kids or two other kids with her and they fool around in this house and they find this door in his office that's like a vault and they figure out a code one of the girls is a code breaker and they get in this vault and they go down it looks like 30 floors down into this basement which is a secret headquarters for a superhero well, the guard is somebody who is protecting mankind. He, is, he was formed from something from outer space that came in, and that is what built the secret headquarters. So that's why his dad's never around. And what happens is somebody wants to get this technology. So they invade or try to invade the secret headquarters where our kids are guarding it, and it turns into this all-out battle between our young kids who found these wonderful gadgets that have been made by his father. And they practice with them, they learn how to use them, and we have a phenomenal finale where they actually use these gadgets against the invaders, which is re le led by Michael Pena. Part of the fun of this movie is that Owen Wilson plays the guard, plays our superhero. And Owen brings a, a sense of humor to the story. There's so much comedy between him and the kids and Michael Pena, who's a fabulous villain, but also, He's got a wonderful sense of humor, too, and he's very, very kind of fun and outlandish. So it makes the story even more fun when the two of them have to go to battle, and it's a great battle at the end of the movie between these two, two hero, our hero and our villain. Michael Pena plays our villain, and if you've seen any of his work, he always brings something really special to whatever he does. And to this, to this role, he brings a lot of humor, which makes it even more fun when you have a hero and a villain, and they both have humor. The movie is so much fun to watch. It's so much fun to watch these kids interact with Pena and, of course, Owen Wilson. Each kid was, we took an enormous amount of time casting them. And Walker had just come off a movie that we thought was terrific. He was really interesting in the film. He's got a sense of humor. He's somebody that is really a wonderful actor for his age. And so he's got this, this kind of He's inquisitive, he's funny, and he's going to be a, a big star. I think he's well on his way. Well, what's interesting is the kids all really liked each other. In fact, they like each other so much, they have, they're on each other's Instagram, they're following each other, they go to premieres together, they just have a blast. And the same thing went out through the entire movie. They constantly hung out together. The humor, a lot of it comes from them, them collaborating with our directors, with Henry and Ralph and also the fact that they are funny, all of them. I'd say that 90% of the film is, is practical. We, of course, we do have visual effects, because most movies do, but I would say the majority of it is, is, is practical. Well, the kids all wanted to do their own stunts, of course, but certain things were a little too dangerous for them. But the majority of them, they did it on their own, which we're really proud of them. It scared me to death that they were doing them. The through line of the movie is the relationship between Owen and his son. And that is what is the glue that holds it together. 
and the conflict that that creates, the fact that they don't have a good relationship. And through the course of the movie, they build their relationship and become very close towards the end of the film and actually work together uh, to solve uh, the problem with our villain, Michael Pena. Henry and Raoul are really, really talented, talented young directors. They remind me of young Spielberg when he made some of his early films. They are comedic, they are insightful, they are intelligent, they have a real strong visual style, they have excellent taste in casting, they understand story, they know where to find the humor. They're, they're really rising stars. You're going you're to hear a lot about those two directors. I think what I love about this movie is, is that we got to work with two very interesting directors and a wonderful young cast. The tone of the film is fun. It really is fun. It's funny. It has some edge to it. It has some danger to it. But the kids are so much fun. And Owen Wilson, you, every time he steps on the screen, he brings a smile to your face. And so does Michael Pena. So the face-off between these two terrific actors is so much fun to watch. I think that's one of the reasons between our stars, our young kids, and our, our villain and our hero. Those scenes are so much fun from the midpoint of the movie. I think the audience for this film is just about everybody. It's from, from 8 to 80.